We got gear loadout. The exact gear we're bringing to Desolation Wilderness coming up right now. Hello, everybody. This is Derek, and with me today is the only man who needs the actual texture of a pine cone to chisel and scrape the wax from his ears. Just don't use it after you dig your toilet hole. Carl Mandrioli. <laughs> there he is. Welcome to the there Backpack Wishes Podcast, everybody. With me today is Derek Smurville. He's a man who thinks mimes aren't very good at packing because they can't think outside the box. I think that's like your third mime joke of this. I like mimes. They're, this they're fun. Total? I don't they're know. Fun. Hey, you know what? We've, you know, like we're wrapping up season seven and we've never done a gear loda episode. Where we've gotten super specific about literally everything that we're bringing on the trip. How are you feeling about this? Uh, fine. I feel fine. I have okay. most of the gear. I mean, there's there's some miscellaneous things I'll probably... Wait, we can't <laughs> have a fire the, this year. <laughs> the episode is the exact gear, not most of the gear. I got it. I got it. It's fine. Okay. There might be some uh, There might be some odds and ends I add, like, last minute is what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, there's no well, fire this predict, year, though. I'm going to say that I'm going to bring up stuff that you didn't even think about. I got... Sure, I'm sure you have that a you list. just didn't think about. Didn't even think about. You, you know, you keep that grading going, buddy. Um, there's, a, there's no fires, though, this year, which is very disappointing. Isn't that correct? It is disappointing. I mean, to, like, I think fires are waning in general. I think that each year there's more and more areas that are not allowing fires. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Right. I agree. Well, I agree. It's very disheartening. So my pack will be lighter for it, but I'll be, yeah, you know, heavier on the heart. So <laughs> what can I okay. do? Well, we got we got that coming up, and we also have, as promised, the imposter. REI store clerk story. We're going to kick that to after the yes. gear load out where yes. one of us hard to tell who went into REI dressed as an REI store clerk with a name tag and walked around helping customers in quotations. And so oh, yeah. we'll see, yeah, we'll let you judge us in that regard. So oh, please, please do. All right. Bible verse, yeah. the episode, Matthew 10, nine and 10 acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belts. No bag for your journey. Mm. Or two mm. tunics or sandals or a staff for the laborer deserves his food. So wow. I'll leave all that gear behind. Leave right? it all behind. Let the yeah. let the trail provide, so to speak. Now, now obviously they have a different mission than we do when we're going backpacking, but um should um would you be up for for this type of backpacking trip? Just kind of let the trail provide, let the uh, you know, kind of mooch off of the, the locals. I I talked about this trip uh with one of our guys like long ago. And um, we were going to do like this, you know, with this grandeur idea of like man versus wild trip, bring the bows oh, yeah. and arrows, the whole thing. But um, right. I mean, I, I think hunting for your food's a little extreme. I think I don't think we'd be very good at it, honestly. Right. With bows and arrows, that'd be like ridiculous. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would be up for like trying to survive with no gear. I think that'd be interesting. OK. Yeah. You know, I maybe think we bring we could do it, you it know. Probably isn't you, but it'd be fun, fun to watch. Well, that's really encouraging. I love that. Um, yeah. Even though, you know, I used peat moss to make my bed. You didn't. Uh, I will say that uh, if we brought, <laughs> I guess, of what? You, if we bring you slept our, in peat moss? Wait, what was that story? It was. It became my mattress. You know, when <laughs> not my, a bed. It's not a bed. It was my bed for the night. Sure was. <laughs> you slept in the peat moss. On top of it. Get, get, with a sleeping on. bag. Stay with, with sleeping stay bag. with it. Is this how you live your life? This is how you live your life. <laughs> This is hard to watch. I just don't let you get away with like pretending that uh -huh. you've been more extreme than you have. I don't like that. Wow. Well, I guess we're here for each other then to help each other stay accountable. <laughs> so blessed. Gosh, I'm so That's blessed. Right. All wow. right. Okay. So I've broken this down into various categories and I got, I got a list of, I don't know, like there's always going to be some odds and ends and like, you know, we're not going to break down what specifically is in our first aid kit, for example, but what? we've got. We've got the big categories hit, and then we're going to talk about specifically what we're going to bring and discuss kind of, you know, thoughts behind that, strategy behind that. And if you, if anybody has any questions about the gear that we've chosen or, or why we've chosen it, we'll try to explain it during the episode, but feel free to to chime in or, or just simply judge us because we probably made some bad choices, just right? Just judge. Just just feel free to yeah. judge. Fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So let, let's, I'm just going to call it the category and okay. go. go for it. Backpack. Ready? Backpack. I go, you want me to go first? I'm going to use my Osprey 36 liter green Stratos backpack. That was they still a, make that backpack. This is the legendary backpack. Derek told us told the story 75 times out of our 300 plus episodes about how request. he seen this backpack in the face of a clerk that told him not to. That's right. That's right. Mocked him. All right. And I'm better for it. 
What yeah. do you got? So you're you're able to fit everything, everything. in a 36 liter backpack with luxury items. So yeah, with like yeah. So you're bringing what? 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 what do you no, want? No, my, Mark I'm, my I'm back? Just about your backpack here. My my oh. question is: Is this because you are so effective at packing, or because there are key pieces of gear that you are not participating in carrying? This is this is your angle for over 15 years now. I love this. It's well, like yeah, that's yeah. True. I pack efficiently, yes, with luxury items included, and I'll have space in the pack. And I think that that we had this conversation with the group one time. Like, should these people be penalized by carrying more group gear, or do we, do we still divvy it up evenly? Even though my question like, is really general, I'll get specific. I'll get super specific. I'm sure you will. When yeah. was the last time you actually carried the main body part of the tent that you share? When was it offered? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I've carried Matt's, the poles. I've carried the poles. It's not always about what's being offered. Like, be a contributor. Like, I mean, there's say, you other know group I'll here that I carry the heavy part of the tent. Okay. Okay. Well, um, when you grab it and walk away with it every time, it's hard to just, you know, <laughs> you like to control that part of the tent. And you, you've said, you've said this. You said this. I'm not, I'm not carrying it this year. I'm unwilling wanna, to carry it this year. You want to pack it, fold it, and put it in your bag before I even have a say. That's fine. I'm not That's carrying fine. it this year. And then you'll give me a hard time about it. That's fine. <laughs> you're you're going to carry it for at least half the trip. So be ready. Am I? All right. right. Yeah. All right. So for me, the backpack is the Mystery okay. Ranch Radix 65. I brought that in the last trip on our Patreon trip to the Red River Gorge. So like almost double the capacity of Derek. And yeah. I've got I've got some extras that I'm bringing. I don't always like load it down. It's not always maxed out or anything. But I do like a 65 liter pack to have some options to kind of throw some luxury mm. type items in there. And oh. it's just a I just like Mr. Ranch. It's a comfortable pack. It's not ultra light. Mm. But it's comfortable no, and yeah. it's light enough. I mean, you know, when you got your physique, you can handle that, I guess, right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe we're gonna find <laughs> out. All right, what's your, what's a sleep? We got an interesting sleeping pad situation this year. So, what's the one that you're starting with? We'll, I'm, say. well I'm gonna use yours. Uh, you want me to try out? No, your... it's yours. It's yours if you want it, man. I'm, I'm giving it to you. I haven't tried it though. It's the the XL light. What is it called again? It's the it's orange. Is that right? The Thermarest. It's an, it's Thermarest. Yellow. Oh, well, my Neo is yellow too. So, okay. So we're going to have two yellow mats in there. Your Nemo is Nemo, not Neo. Yellow? What am I saying? Yeah, it was Sorry. yellow. You had the same. Right, one. What, I always get confused. It's it's the, it's the like insulated ultra, right. light, not really ultra light, but the lightweight pad from Thermarest, the X Therm, or X I don't know. I always get confused. This is your job to look this up. Why do I have to look this up for you? You have the pad. Yeah. You're letting me borrow it pads in your house. I don't you have it. Up? You physically have it with you. I dropped it off with you a month ago. And you don't know Neo what it is? Air X Lite. Thank That's you. It's it in the garage right now. Uh, yeah, so but I you said this is three. You you've had it for quite some time. I figured you, you know. Yeah, for, for less time than you've had it. Mm, okay, debatable. You said it's about three inches thick, right? Or yeah. Three and a half. Right. Okay. All so, right. but what so, happens? So, okay. What happens if you don't like it? What's, what's our setup here? We're going to switch. You're going to let me have the Nemo. Right. Right. And I and, and I've you, got the tensor insulated long wide again right. not ultra light just ultra comfort. We're we have yeah we have the so. same one right okay right so okay we, we well we'll switch. see okay all right, all right. uh what yeah what sleeping bag you bring in sleeping bag we're going with the the same old one I've had for a while the REI Magma seventeen degree bag mm -hmm. um I think it's starting to maybe lose you know some of, it's not seventeen degree I mean it's probably more like thirty. 25 30 but when you first bought it warm. it wasn't 17 degree <laughs> probably not well i'm not going anywhere it's so cold anyway um yeah. there have been nights where i'm like ooh, my feet are a little cold and it's probably like 30 something so okay it's it's still yeah, so a good it's, bag it's right it could be 17 like survival rating versus comfort comfort rating but yeah it's yeah. very light and that's a very synthetic compact. bag i believe right synthetic very very light. i think it's like a pound eight or a pound 12 i could be wrong okay. um it's very light though very compact and you're going to stick. So even though your feet are getting cold and colder nights, you're sticking with it. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it. All right. It's okay. I'm a big boy. Figure it <laughs> you, out. you want to be comfortable. You want to get good sleep. I'll just put my icy feet on your back in the middle of the night if I need to heat up. So that's that's yeah. that'd be great. I appreciate be, that. You know what? I, I knew you'd like <laughs> icy it. feet. You're welcome. Maybe throw some socks on. Just a thought. Eh. Think about <laughs> it. Okay. Uh, I've got the Outdoor Vital Summit down bag. I think it's rated at 35. Oh, I'm not sure yeah. what the current rating that one they're selling is right now, but it's my first. This is like embarrassing to me, but it's my first true down bag. And I, really? so I don't have any other down bags to compare it to, but I love this one. It keeps me warm. Mm. 
you know, we, we've, we've had it down below 30 and I still find it to be very comfortable. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. It's a lot of body okay. to keep warm too. So you, you, what's the, uh, weight of that thing? It's pretty beefy. Uh, it's a, yeah. I don't, I didn't, we didn't make this a stats episode, but I want to say it's like a pound and a half ish. Really? It's lightweight. Okay. I'll have to <clears> check <throat> that out. Yeah. Okay. It's legit. Nice. Nice. Uh, we've got, okay, so this one you could have thrown on your, like, in your miscellaneous or luxury items category, but I made it a separate category, I think, after I emailed you. But you should have this on your list, and that is the pillow. Oh, the pillow. Yeah. Yeah. What you got? Um, I have the, what do I have? It's the, uh, it's, I have two inflatables, which last year, well, let me, let me correct. I'm still in the process. I'm going to get another pillow because I had two. One of them popped okay. last year, remember? So I still have one. Yeah. I don't trust it. Um, you don't know what pillow you have, do you? It's the C. It's the C. The C side. C side. C something. I know what it is. I just want you to keep talking. This is great. Well, then just say what it is. <laughs> it's more fun. It's more fun to hear you make up. You stuff. have the same one. You have the same. One. I don't, I don't have the same one. Is, you mean C to Summit? Is that you're talking C about? C to Summit. Yeah. I don't really. I don't really trust it though. I've only had it a few years. One of them popped. <laughs> I think I borrowed another one. So I'm going to yeah. actually try to, I might actually splurge and get like a down, small down, okay. probably thermo rest or something like that. So gotcha. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. I don't know yet. Okay. For those that are watching YouTube, I was intending to do like more of like a show and tell episode with these things. And then we kind of, I don't know, we argued back and forth about what this episode is going to be about. Should we do a full episode on the imposter store clerk could kind of combine them. And so we decided to combine them last minute. I got a couple things. One of them is the pillow. And it's this one right here. It's the Trekology mm. mm. Luft. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ultra. So I'll take it out. So you can see how big this thing is just from the stuff sack. I'm not bringing yeah. the stuff sack, just to clarify. Oh. I know. I'm going to shed some weight. Trekology Tuft. This is, so like, this is definitely a luxury item. Can you see how big this is? That's, that is massive. Jeez. Yeah. It's massive. Are we in a hotel? Like almost is that, and that's inflatable? It's kind of the size of a small regular pillow. That's inflatable? Is that what that is? inflatable yeah but it's got yeah, the okay. soft it's heavy it's probably weighs i don't know half a pound or so it's i'm wow. just trying to get good sleep out there and so that's my, one of my luxury items and that's why that's an example of why i would need a 65 liter pack i'm just looking to get better sleep you're and, at you're at, you gonna make some waffles and pancakes like what's what else is in your bag i can't wait to hear, hear about it yeah that, that's um, not a bad idea but i in the past i have said i don't like trek allergy pillows not that one i've, I've used that one on a trip already but we've had that they're kind of basic 15 dollar ones or whatever those keep yeah. on deflating on me right this is a different one i'm trusting justin outdoors he's the one that suggested it so that's what okay from. so far so you've right. only yeah it's still pretty new though so it's okay true, yeah so if it, if um, it's on me wait are you bringing two pillows again for sure i'm bringing two pillows okay Minimum. so if, it, if this one deflates on me i'll either borrow your second one or if you're not willing to lend it to me i'll just take it from you in the middle of the night How about i that? might even bring like my puff jacket which folds into itself into a pocket and that could become a pillow so that's those are terrible pillows. Anytime you're using clothing as pillows, or I'll use it as a, as a leg idea. pillow. I might do it a leg pillow with it. That might, might work, but as yeah. a regular pillow, don't do it. I've don't done do it. it, folks. Okay. Well, I know it's just it's just like the air compresses down your neck ends up getting wrenched, mm. and then you're grumpy the next day, mm. and you start throwing mm. trekking poles around. It's just terrible. Mm. Mm. Well, you put it on top of your inflatable, and you'll be fine. Uh, okay. what right. tent. Is, what's the next tent, one? Tent. tent. We're doing the big Agnes, right? Yes, this is the, the four copper person big Agnes copper. Copper, spur. it's a good and one. So this is, I think this is just no. I got the I got the poles inside, I guess. But this is um this is big, man. How are you gonna fit this in your pack? I'm not. That's why you get the sixty five, yeah, baby. Yeah, you got it. No, no, no. I'm not. No, I've carried it for years. Yeah, the tent body weighs more than the poles, so you don't uh, have to carry the tent body the whole trip. But definitely, like you're gonna split uh, it a couple days because you're using the tent. So I'll let you have it on not day to carry the tent body. If, if you don't have to carry it, if you don't want to carry the tent body, that's great. Uh, then you can't use the tent though. I'll let you. I mean, I'll survive. I'll let you carry it day three, day four. No, no, no. I, I've carried this for years. I've carried extra group weight for years. And no, so I, I, I want to be very clear. Push. I want to be very clear. I think day three is our. Most challenging day uphill? No. According to no? I don't according think so. to the according to the itinerary. So okay, well we can talk about it. I was okay. gonna let you carry it day three. That's fine. I'm no no, I'm gonna have you i will carry everything else, but you mm -hmm. and Rocky are gonna be splitting the the tent for sure. So some love you know, two lovely. days carry the, okay. the, the body, two you days got, carry the bulls. All right, you got the 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 heavy stove, I guess, huh? Nice. 
Okay. I mean, um, we can go through what I'm carrying. No, no, no. We're even not, if you're no, carrying no. more, like, I've carried the tent body for probably, like, I don't know. Look, okay, like you or nine win. Years. You, look, you win. It's okay. Yeah, I know. I know. It, because my okay. argument is better. I think that you are defensive right now, and maybe you need to take five. <laughs> Come back. I'll just keep going. Water okay. filters. All right. I'm we, curious we, what you're bringing. The be free. I'm going to bring the be free. Yes. It worked great. Uh, 0.5 liter. I also have a one liter. Um, I'll probably bring one of those with, and then I'll, I'll use both caps because I don't want to be, I don't know. I just like, I like that filter. You don't need to bring, if you, dude, just one of the caps. You no. Don't need to bring no, 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 if, if no. If it stops working, just borrow from somebody. No, no I'm not going to do that. This is, this is, <laughs> I'm going to consider that second cap a luxury item then. Okay. Because you you had this you had the same you brought your little weird filter that you didn't want anybody to use. You're like, I'm so sick of filtering water for everybody. <laughs> I'm like weird Dude. filter. It's a Solomon filter that's very similar to the briefery. Why is that weird? And you go like hide in the forest and filter like real quick, like I I'm don't, already, yeah, I'm already I good. Don't. I don't. We, literally last year I said everybody uh, needs to bring their own filter. Enough mm. of this sharing filters, people okay. filtering water for you and you not contributing. So everybody brings their own filters. I tried, it didn't work. Do you know how I tried this year? How, how I'm trying to like upgrade my wait. emphasis on this? Please tell me. I'm well, so you should know because I, I I sent out the gear list. There's one item on the gear list that is highlighted in bright yellow, and it's bring your own mm -hmm. filter, basically. Okay, what are you gonna bring? Are you gonna bring your Solomon again? I so this year I'm bringing. So the, last year I brought that Solomon one, which worked great until it started like. Oh. It had this, the pinholes started getting created. Yeah. So I'm gonna right. bring. I'm bringing uh -huh. the be free. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not lending it out. I don't oh. want to lend it out. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. I'll probably so like if, cave wait, 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 wait. in and Let's lend start it right out. there. Wait, what if my filter breaks? And then I, I have, this is why I'm bringing two caps. Because I know yeah, yeah. you're not going to share. Know, if your filter breaks, at least you've brought your own filter. I would lend it to you. What I'm saying is I don't want to lend it out oh. to people who are just like, you know what? I'll just borrow from Carl, even though he literally okay. highlighted it in yellow on the gear list. So I would love to see the conversation. Like, no, you can't have my filter. Go ask Derek. Yeah, borrow from somebody else. Borrow yeah, from Derek. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's, that's like, well. in, that's like in my mind, how it's going to go down in reality. Be like, right. Oh, you, you didn't bring it even though I asked you to. And we talked about it on the podcast, I guess you right. can use it. Right. Mine You're going to guilt again. trip them and then let them borrow it. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, that's fair. <laughs> At least it's honest. All right. That's fair. One of the things we're sharing is a stove. Uh, I'm bringing, I'm not bringing the jet boy this year. I'm bringing the MSR pocket rocket deluxe with the titanium. It's like an old ever new titanium pot. And we're going to use that. I think like that'll save a little bit of weight. Like not enough people are sharing the stove this year to warrant the jet boil. But if we share among like six or more people, I think the jet boil is a better option. But this thing boils water fast yeah. still anyway. It is pretty fast. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tech. All right. Tech. Tech. Your, what you got? What's your tech? My tech? Cell phone. That's it. That's all you're bringing. Maybe, maybe earbuds if I peel off and want to listen to some Lord of the Rings while I walk for a few miles. That's about okay. it. Keep so it not, a, not, an ex, not an extra battery. An extra battery for my like headlamp or oh oh you're right no you got me there um i'll bring the i'll bring the external battery charger <laughs> correct correct i knew it i knew i'd forget that actually okay. no no i'm not my you don't even know what brand it is you what brand is i do it? i have an anchor and uh yes. some how big is it it's well that i have two one's ten thousand and one's twenty thousand yeah yeah. Dude, ten thousand is a lot, man. If you're just charging your own yeah. stuff, like a phone, that's you're bringing ten thousand. But phone? you know, it's the same thing as a water filter, though. It never goes that way. Hey, oh, hey, can I? Do you mind if I charge my phone? No, that can should be. My... Yeah, we should. We should just bring a twenty thousand and just share it. To be honest, I'm happy to do that, but uh... that's that's not gonna go well. <laughs> oh, I'll bring. <laughs> I'll bring okay. my twenty thousand. All right. So I got a five thousand anchor battery. We're trying out. That's like, the, what is yeah, that though? That's like you, 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 a 5,000 is like you charge your phone like three quarters of the way and that's it. It's done for the trip and it's dead weight. Why even know. bring that? It'll, yeah. it'll do like one or two charges. It won't do two. It will not do two. Although you have a iPhone. Whatever it is, it gets me through trip. So I don't know. But what you have like an iPhone one, right? So you, yeah, yes. that could probably do it twice. I forgot you have like an iPhone old school. I do. Okay. So, so anyway, we, so there's that one and then. I've yeah. got, and so, so for mine, I guess I'm not going to share the battery either if, with your, um, exactly. yeah, encouragement about it's not going to make it through the trip, but no, so I've got that. I've got the, I've got my phone as well. 
I've got the Garmin InReach Mini. That's Group Gear because we all kind of contributed to buying yeah. that and we contributed to the subscription cost of that. So we have the the one. I haven't upgraded to the two yet. It's kind of mainly for emergency purposes. Who do so you I get? The... And I got what's that? Well, let me let me ask you about the Garmin real quick because I have my Garmin. I don't. No, no, I got rid of my Garmin. I think I you did. Yeah, I got rid of it a long time ago. Um, right. it's, it was terrible. It's terrible. Do you? So are you the only one getting chopper coverage, or are we all getting chopper coverage? Like you talk, if you're talking about insurance, that's on you. You'd have to go onto Garmin and get your own insurance, right? So right. you might want to do that. And then, concerned. and then, uh, who do we interview that only got covered by part of it and was waited forever to get that was the money Dixie. back? Dixie, that was Dixie. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. So, so I'll say this is my least favorite category. I want to bring none of these items. I don't want any mm, of these items. But mm. be, being a responsible husband and father, I feel like I have to at least bring the. In reach mini and then you have to bring the phone for that and if you're going to bring the phone for that you got to bring the batteries they kind of all go together so i i long for the trip where i don't have to do that is all, is all set. i mean it's not the end of the world it's so small it makes it easier it's not the end of the world it's just the one of the reasons i like getting out backpacking is to get away from all that junk mm -hmm. and and then it's not like you're not only using that, it, i like to get away from the other from other people that are like you're mm. you're hanging out with people and they can't help but like staring at their phone when you're talking to them and then that mm. happens out there and so then when other people bring that stuff that's annoying too how many of us are staring at our phones on the trip i will share with you that we okay. i was on, on a trip in yosemite a couple years ago mm -hmm. and i was with two other dudes and so, and they left they had their phone on with like not airplane mode and suddenly we hit this like we're out there man and we hit all of a sudden we hear ding 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 and two dudes sitting on the side of the trail and it was time to phone call and text and i don't know how long it took but even if it took one minute i was like come on yeah. come yeah. on please just keep stop. walking just keep walking i did i did yeah right yeah it's not so, all the time I, I wanted to talk to them they're my buddies but the garmin is like it has a purpose right i mean it does. No, I, I get it. Much I get it. I just okay. don't like it. Well, I hate it, actually. Tough. You got to suck it up. Thank you. Thank you. You're only Good using it. Motivation. You're only going to use it if you die or are about to die, and then you're going to be glad you had it. Incorrect. No. Well, unless you, well, well you're going to do it. On that. People are going to be like, hey, can I use that to text my <laughs> you know, wife or kids about such and such? And no. because they've contributed, they have every right to do that. Okay. Well, yeah. Just, just don't break right. an ankle, and then we'll be fine. I'll try. All right. Toiletries. What you got for toiletries? Uh, no toilet paper. That's on the trail waiting for me right now. That, that was a different uh, category, but. Well, I had, that's, I had poop that's kit in the category too. Poop kit and toiletries are like in. The, okay. I get. Uh, what else I, right. I have like toothpaste, toothbrush. Um, I have, What else do I have? Sometimes I bring mouthwash. I like to feel fresh. Um, you bring mouthwash? Are you being maybe, serious? Maybe. I don't know yet. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Wait, wait, wait. wait like I want to know what container like a little you're guy. carrying the math wash in. It's like a little travel size. You know, a little travel size. Nothing crazy. It's okay. <laughs> I can handle it. <laughs> um, are are you swallowing toys? the mouthwash or were you spitting this chemical stuff? All over your sleeping bag. All over it. I believe it. Or in the river. Obviously, in the river is a good choice. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to be using the, the Hello Toothpaste brand um, tablets this year. So okay. I'll be doing those with the uh, toothbrush. And no, I'm not going to like chisel my toothbrush down to like a toothpick size thing like you do. Um, I don't do that, but thank you. You thought about it and talked about it. So, okay. I'm trying to think anything else? No shaving gear. I'm, I'm I don't know. <laughs> no I'm, shaving gear. Thank you for that. No shaving gear. I may bring a deodorant. I don't know. It depends how if okay. I can find a small one. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about like to... what was missing from that list there. Because if you're, if you're combining poop kit and toiletries, Oh, you want me to combine it? Hand sanitizer. Hand poop kit. Sanitizer. Well, in the poop kit, I'll have a hand sanitizer. Correct. Okay. I will not have a Good trowel. I will not. Time. I will not have a trowel or toilet paper. Okay. I'll borrow yours. Are you or... taking notes? Because I'm bringing up stuff that you can't forget, dude. Well, I don't have the gears in front of me. You want me to pull the whole thing up? What do you want me to do? Well, I just want to make sure you're not. You know, make sure you remember. Oh, your hand I. Sanitizer. I have not. I will review the gear list. Um, I've covered like multiple things you've, you've already forgotten. So I'm I'll bring you, I'll bring your like sleeping mask and go girl. And uh, what okay. else? I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm, Am I forget anything? Probably. No, I, I'm, I'm bringing toothbrush, no toothpaste, no mouthwash, deodorant, like mini travel deodorant, uh -huh. uh, toilet paper, hand sanitizer. Those four things. So I, I I've mentioned all those. Oh, okay. I, oh, I might bring some face wipes because oh, those yeah. are a luxury item, but post. they are glorious. I'll probably do this post. 
Okay. After after I get back, it's always yeah. Nice you do look kind of grungy during the trip. That's true. Yeah, it's part of being out right. there, you know. Grunge it. Okay, what about packed clothing? So this is not what you're wearing we while you're okay. hiking, but what you what's in your backpack. I think I'm worse than you on this one. This is where you you have okay. So I am gonna bring uh pajama pants that are fleece and lovely. I'll probably do we do we count slippers or yes sandals? One of those two. One of those okay. two I'll bring. Uh, I'll bring a, f a thin fleece, uh, like zip up sweatery jacket for camp. Mm -hmm. And I'll bring a rain jacket. Okay. Do um, you have brand names or models for this, the fleece or the rain jacket? My fleece is a Columbia. That's what I love it. Okay. The rain jacket, um, I just got Is it a, waterproof, first of all? It is waterproof. I got it online. I cannot remember. It, it's some funky name from um china or something so i have to double check that patagonia no absolutely not okay. um and then i did just buy actually some waterproof pants that zip they button at the hip and they button at the ankle they zip all the way down super easy to get out of so i won't be having wet pants finally and are they like my, like tear offs like pull aways like pretty close like, okay they're like nba rainproof pants yes uh okay. i feel like I feel like the one year that I will bring them, it won't rain. So we'll find out. All right. But um, but yeah, I think that's, I think I got everything. Is that everything? I think that's everything. No. Socks. I'll bring extra no, socks. Just, there you go. There you go. Extra socks. Like four or five underwear. pairs of socks. Undies. I'll bring one extra pair of underwear. Okay. Very, maybe. And a swimsuit. <laughs> I'll bring a swimsuit. <laughs> okay. You got a lot of clothes. Like your clothes are, are yeah. like in terms of if you were like to pile them, in uh -huh. terms of thickness, they're probably double thickness of mine. Double thick? No, I don't know about that. Yeah, swimsuit, underwear, pants, very thin. I'm not bringing that. I'm not bringing a fleece. I'm not bringing rain pants. That's three mm -hmm. things I'm not bringing right there. Well, you're a hero of mine, I guess. I'm not saying what that. Are, I'm just curious how you're fitting that in a 35 liter pack. With the I pants. have a gift. What do you want me to say? I have a gift. What are you? What are you going to bring other than? All right, so I got black diamond, tree line rain shell. I've got just okay. one extra shirt. So what do you there? rain shell? You're counting rain shell as clothing? I'll have a rain shell. I didn't count as clothing though. Yeah, rain shell. Yeah, a rain shell is a jacket, a waterproof jacket, which is literally what you just said for your list. And you don't, you don't count that. You're bringing a rain shell. Oh, I thought you were talking about like a pack shell. I'm confusing with a pack shell. It's okay. Okay, that's all right. Keep going. Rain that's shell. Actually, yeah, I have a rain shell. Miscellaneous items. Is pack shell. Okay, I've yeah. got CEP compression shorts, which I'm using as kind of like underwear, oh, and right. they're like the under layer. I'm not, but like I've got regular shorts over them, and then Belega synthetic socks. Belega and so one pair. How many socks? At this point, at one pair, I'm going to check the forecast and if it's going to be rainy, I might throw in the rain pants. I've got some RA mm. rain pants, and I might throw in a second pair of socks. You might throw in the rain pants. You might not. Okay. The, yeah, the the Sierra weather reports are pretty reliable. It's not like the Rocky Mountains, so I, I would just trust them. I'm going to bring my rain pants and see what's up when I get there. We'll talk about it. Did you That's get you're pretty thorough with the clothes? That was, that was a good job on those. Okay, what about what about uh let's go with headlamp? Uh headlamp. I have a I got a new one. I got a black diamond. I think it's a 750. I think the lemons? spot. Is it yeah, it's kind it of is the main spot. ones are spot. It yeah, is a spot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I luxury got, items. Like what's what luxury items do you have? Luxury items, I guess you could call slippers luxury. Um no, the no, pajamas. We haven't talked about yet. Okay, things I haven't talked about yet. Um, those are all, all my luxuries are pretty cloth oriented. Um, I'll just I'll probably bring extra. I might bring one extra meal. I don't know. There's not going to be a lot of luxury other than the clothes. Okay, so you're not bringing a chair. That's luxury. I don't know. That's oh, pretty yeah. standard for you. No, no for me no, it's standard. If I'm going ultra light, I don't bring a chair. What do you sit on the log? Sit on the ground? Yeah, well, that's you. Um, are you bringing a chair? Yes or no? Yeah, I'll bring a chair. I'll bring a chair. All right, what chair are you bringing? I'm bringing my Hyperlite Orange. What is it? I can't remember the name of it. It's like an REI brand. Oh, it's REI brand. It's like a... <laughs> I should just say the orange chair. <laughs> the orange, yeah, the orange chair. REI <laughs> or It's like a, it's one pound, under a pound. I think it's... Ish. Yeah, they're about a pound. Okay. I think it's like 10 ounces or something. Yeah. I don't it's like the light. REI ones, but if you like it, if it's working for you, Stick with it, man. You don't like a lot of things, but I like it. It's been good to me. <laughs> I so. like, yeah, I guess I've bashed REI a couple of times, but 
uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back. So I've, I've got the Helinox chair zero. I'm bringing that for my luxury. Oh, items. yeah. Kind of my main luxury item. I've got some, you could make the case of my miscellaneous gears luxury, but it's more for the sake of others. I don't know. Um, uh, okay. Last category miscellaneous. What you got? Miscellaneous. We'll get the trekking poles. I obviously destroyed yes. two trekking poles last year. And, uh, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, I, I didn't go buy some fancy trekking poles. I don't see the need a and B. I was just like walking through Target and I was like, here, let's just try these $20 ones this year and see, see what happens. They're probably heavier than the ones I had. They're probably they'll, they'll probably hold up. They'll hold up for a trip. I'm going to try them out and then I'll probably go get like a decent pair if I hate those. But they I have the, the what is it? The Cascade something, Cascade Tech. I don't know. They, they're they on Amazon. They have carbon fiber poles, which are probably half the weight of your Amazon ones for 50 bucks. Just saying. Yeah. Well, I already got them. I can't return anyway. them, so I'm going to try it. Okay. You can't yeah. return to Target? Well, I've had them sitting in my garage for like... This is the difference. This is why you go to Costco. They've been in my garage probably for like three or four months. Okay. So Fair enough. All right, I got um, any other miscellaneous items besides the trekking poles? Are we doing a bear canister or no? Oh, Maybe. yeah. We you got, got one? that? You're going to carry that? Nice. Thank you. Yes. Um, you, you, no, no. Everybody's got to carry one. What, what do you have? Do <laughs> you have one yet? Do I have a bear canister? No. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I gotta get one. I'll probably get a small. Right. One. If you don't know, I've got an old bear vault canister that I've got, and um, mm. yeah, what else you got? Miscellaneous floss. Mm. That's toiletry. Forgot about that. <laughs> You're welcome. I do that. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't think. I think I'm, I don't. I might be missing something. Okay. Small. Yeah, I'm not bringing fire supplies, okay. obviously. Um, any prank stuff? I might bring some prank stuff. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. I called that mystery gear. I've got a pounds worth probably of that. A pounds of mystery gear. Are oh, you going all out yeah. this year? Inflatables? I what know. are we talking about? I know. Yeah. No, it's it's ridiculous. I have for sure. I, I have hope some ideas. Well. I got some ideas. So Good. I'll just leave it. I'll leave it at that. Okay. We're gonna mix it up. I've got um I recommend you bring some sort of like, you know, spoon or something. I got a plastic spoon I'm bringing, maybe a spork. <laughs> I I will say, I don't know if you want to consider this luxury, poop kit, toiletry, whatever you want to do. I'll usually bring three spoons or forks, the sporks. I'll bring like three. <laughs> and you know why I do this? Because every single year this happens where like I will get out my spoon. I'll be eating. Somebody's going to come up. Dude. Is it, do you have like an extra spoon or a fork I can borrow? Do you have an? Did you bring an extra every year, dude? D no, don't do it. Don't give it every to him. Every year, like, I'll just tell. Just say this: you don't need it. Go look at your pack again. It's in there. You packed it. No, I think I forgot it. No, you didn't. It's in there. Go what look. What you want to do is fold up a, a paper bag and just use it as a spoon. I, I think. Uh, what am I going to do? Just, you know, I'll just get my giant spoon out and I'll lick it like that at the end of it, there and I'll go. be like. Do you, no, I don't have anything else. And see how okay. See how hungry they really are. Yeah. yeah. All right. I've got a, cu a couple extra things that you didn't mention. I've got stormproof matches and a lighter. I've got a Ziploc bag for trash. Them. Oh, for the for the stove we do. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, for the stove and for emergencies. Okay. And then I've got the thermocells to ward off bugs. I've got my mm. Osprey pack cover. I'm more of a pack cover mm -hmm. guy, not the interior liner guy. So yeah, there same. you go. That's our gear loadout. There's a couple categories I'm sure we missed or whatever, but those, that's the main year of brain. What do you like better than what we're bringing? Is there anything that you feel like is ridiculous or that inspired you? Just let us know. And then um, that's it. So we got, we're going to be going to the desolation wilderness in a couple weeks. Let's see by the time this episode's out. Yeah. A couple weeks in July. Couple and weeks. then we're going to be, yeah, we're going to, we're going to find out what happens. Sounds like Derek's prepared for some pranks. I've got some stuff as well. And mm, yeah, so mm. since this is this is kind of like our season finale, I just figured um, we'll get to that imposter story in a moment here. But I think we'll just take a moment of reflection, Derek. I got a couple questions for you. Let's reflect. Let's reflect. All right. Let's, let's get First deep. one is let's get deep. so for season seven, who like who's the best new guest this season? Somebody that we hadn't had on in previous seasons. Like if you had a mm. so those that are new to the show, who are you going to recommend they go back and listen to? Who's, who's the guest? Um, we had a lot of great guests. Um, we, we, had, the, we had a really good se season for that. Yeah. With the lady, I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. We had all this New Zealand connection, but I think I would go with, um, Dixie was a great guest. Great stories. I'd say go back mm -hmm. and check out Dixie. Um, that was in January. That was in January. Yeah. What about you? Okay. You're talking about Elena Osborne was back in November. She Elena was Osborne. Yes. Connection. Yeah, yeah she's she great. Was great too. She was great too. Yeah. I would check her out too. 
Yeah. yeah. She didn't take any announcements from either of us. No. So, okay. Uh, for me, the best new guest, I don't know if this is like recency bias, but I really think that you should check out this episode. It gave me like a newfound respect for the search and rescue. And that's the Moose Mutlow episode from a couple weeks ago. That's And yeah. he, he was so good. Like just, I can't describe. So like take Derek and I off the episode and just listen to what he was saying. And it's worth your time because he was just such a good guest. <laughs> and he, and he has some yeah. stories. He had some great. Yeah. And I've got stories. an update from him for tidbit. So yeah, he's kind of the guest he keeps on giving. Um, all right. So that, Best new guest. Okay, so what's the best non-guest episode in your opinion from this season? Pranks. Gotta go pranks. The pranks, pranks episode. episode. Let's do it. Yeah. How, we had like Let's 10 go. pranks. That's some great pranks. That, that we should we were suggesting. And so we'll see how that plays all. out this summer. I have a feeling I was actually it's funny you brought that one up because I thought you might forget about that one. And then I could surprise you with some of the pranks that I'm pulling, but it sounds like not. Mm, maybe we'll see. I mean, did you uh how many of your pranks? Are directed towards me specifically. Uh, All? Zero? I mean, one? Like one or two. One like or two, so that's two. Well, the, like, the, okay, the, the one with like the the fake deer scat, that's like a collaboration between us for the other guys, right? Oh, I forgot about that. Are you bringing yeah. it? You bring that. So, nice. Well, okay. you forgot because, well, then hopefully you'll forget about the other ones. But yeah, so okay. check out, we have some good ones. So I'm definitely going to do that one. And then, yeah, yeah, there's there's some other ones for sure. Okay. So, okay. So for my best non-guest episode, I would go back to January 2024 backpacking trends that will die a miserable death. We got, that was actually one of our more popular episodes and some of the stuff uh, right. that, that you said specifically, <laughs> like <laughs> quilts are going to die. That was your, I hope that's more of a hope. It's more of a hope. <laughs> okay. I just think Ironically, there's a divide. I'm, there's a I'm divide. talking with a quilt company specifically to partner with them. Because I really I like their company, and it's okay if you don't, but I like them, and we're gonna, we might be, I don't know where that's gonna I'll, go. Look, but we'll, I will try it. Yeah. I will, I can't fully mock it till I try it. So, hey, that's, that's you, right. I, hey, I'm not looking for you to change your opinion if we get a partnership. Like, we're, we try to be as authentic and true to what we believe is possible. So, you don't like a quilt, true. you don't have to like a quilt. Well, I don't, yeah, well, again, I don't think I like it, but I, I should, if I'm being, you know, good about it, I should probably. I think try if you it. set it up differently, you're gonna like it more. And then you might like, you know, the compactness and the weight of it as well. So knowing knowing me, I will love it. And then I'll eat my words and I have to write a formal apology. No, no. That's and not, do a video you, apology. If you love it, if you're like, dude, actually, Carl, this is actually better than a sleeping bag. I actually really love it. You would never admit that in the podcast. <sighs> that should be my punishment. <laughs> you, you couldn't do I feel it. Like a, I feel like I need to, yeah. No, I, I feel like I need to punish myself. If I if I love it and if I like get rid of a sleeping bag, I, I could I could admit that. Okay. All right. I'd like to think um, so. Last category. This one is just, yeah. Favorite guest episode by downloads. This is not Moose Mutlows, not Dixie, surprisingly. Dixie did bring a lot of downloads. But our favorite guest episode was an episode we had back in November by Dan Durston. He was our guest. Oh, yeah. And yeah. people love Loved that it. guy. And he's a good dude, so I understand. We had a lot yeah. of great guests. Yeah. A lot of great so, guests this year. A lot of great guests. Okay. Let, let's jump into the REI imposter story, my friend. All right. Here we go. So, this was great. Here we go. Um, yeah. So, like, our original title for this episode was Imposter Store Clerk Helps Customers at REI or whatever. I wasn't going to even say REI. Then I'm like, I just got to own this one. All right. So... Did we ask permission to have me dress up as an REI store clerk? Uh, no. no. No, we did not. I feel like this kinda... is like a moment of shame, like a stain upon our podcast. Okay. Uh, I've got my I've got my like disclaimer here, but what what sort of justification do we have for not asking for permission? What so well, I <laughs> I don't know if we, do we have justification? I think that was like, our, I, of course, otherwise I would have asked. You're like, well, okay. What was your, I mean, I don't know. What was your, in your mind? You had some, <laughs> you weird didn't care. You're just going with it. You didn't care. Because if justification. Here, well, I'll get to, I'll get to what I thought, but tell me what you, what your justification was. This ought to be. Okay. Here's my justification. We had, um, IB tat on our show earlier this season. He's an REI store employee. And I specifically asked him about whether people filmed in the store. And he said, yeah, people film oh, all the right, time. Like right, it's not right. that big of a deal. So yeah. that was that was one. So he literally said that it wasn't that big of a deal and that people film all the time in REI. So I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, then I'll film too. The second one was I'm gonna blur out faces of customers, employees that might be caught on, you know, in the video. So I'm not gonna like show them. 
Right. And then my third justification was I'm dressed up as an REI employee, but I used to actually work at REI. That's how I have the vest. So mm. I, I know my backpacking year. I thought I could legitimately help customers who had questions. So I, I'm not like misleading them. I thought I could actually help uh -huh. them. It's like free labor basically, right? Free, free labor. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Let's let's address the fact that you've had your REI vest and name tag for 20 years. Yeah. Stuff well, in the, the drawer name, somewhere. The name tag, well, yeah, I had an old name tag, what's, but I got a new on? name tag off Amazon. What's going on with that? I just watched an episode of Hoarders. I don't know if that's in line with that or, or what, but <laughs> what's going on with you keeping a vest? Why would I keep it? It's like, is a, it like it's, it's a big proud moment for your life. I feel like this is a big yeah. moment for you. I just knew, I just knew that this was going to happen eventually. Uh, no, <laughs> Little I, Carl I, I thought... who loved the outdoors got the dream job, you know? Yeah. But maybe, yeah, who knows? Maybe when I retire, I'll work back there again. We'll see. Uh, I kept it. It's like a Halloween costume. You did not wear that for a Halloween costume. Come on. I know I didn't, but I thought that I might. So I just well, got Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that, that's I weird. Know. But it's, it's, it's weird. It's but I'm glad you had it. Have it. It's no, weird it's and creepy. Right. Yeah. Does your does your wife mock you for that, or or she didn't really? She care? thinks it's funny. Yeah. She okay. Thinks it's funny. Okay. Yeah. A little quirky, but I'm glad you had it. it made it it's way quirky. better. Um, I I thought this was funny because we had like a whole plan. We had like, okay, let's try this, and then we're gonna go over here with this whole like thing mapped out, and then we get in there and we're like, you know what? Um, none of that's gonna work because we kind of just have to go where the people are. Right, we were gonna right. go to the clothing area. Right. We were gonna go to this area. Couldn't do and any of that. away from the employees too. And away from the employees, couldn't do any of that because the people go where the people go, and we gotta just yeah. improv it. So it, right? Yeah, learn yeah. lesson. So learned. I gotta, I I gotta share with you that be, because it didn't go as I thought it was gonna go, like not even close. I I've since felt pretty convicted about filming. So I don't know. I don't wanna say illegally, but like without permission at the store. So, so I, I don't know that I'm going right. to be releasing the video. I think I'm going to go back mm. and ask for permission before I release any video and make sure that it's okay. Who do you ask for sure that? that like a random store? Like I, would start, I would start the store manager and if the store manager uh -huh. is too scared to say yes, then I uh -huh. would go up the chain and ask HR. Because if the manager says yes, you put it out and then and then somebody higher up is like, whoa, whoa. What are you going to be like? Well, hey, you know, Bob said I could release it. Like, that's I don't think that. Yeah, I would try to get. The, I would try to get it either through email or through like a written. Recorded. You got to get it written. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something. So anyway, um, so that's why we're just going to kind of talk about this generally. Let's talk about some of the highlights. The first thing that happened. So I did a kind of a dry run with Rocky the day before you and I met up to do this. Like his yeah. his son was just like super excited to do this. I was like, all right, I'm yeah. not really like I just got off the plane literally, and wow. I'm ready to. I guess I'll do this. I'm pretty wiped out, but. So I put on the vest and it's oh, not wow. the same vest. They have like updated versions of the vest, but that did not matter. Didn't matter. Like no. immediately people are asking me for help and they're asking me questions. So that's yeah. one thing that happened. So let's, uh, let's clarify though. You're let's clarify something yeah. real quick. You have a name tag that says your name, Carl, Carol Mandrioli. And then uh, right underneath it in like very small font, you have fake store clerk, which nobody, oh, yeah, nobody's ever gonna pick that up which is hilarious yeah. okay i have to look at that again i yeah you're right um i thought That's it was i mean it was smaller my the first the bigger font was my name for sure but i didn't think it was i wonder small font. i it was pretty small i wonder because when you glance at somebody's name tag, you're only maybe going to glance at their name. And that's it. I wonder, though, if you had made fake store clerk like the main big font, if anybody would have said anything anyway. No. Just like, no, probably not. Like, they know nobody's, nobody's looking at my name tag. They're not like, hey, that's like a little Carl, experiment. Can I get some help? Yeah. Yeah. We can try like, that next time. Yeah. We'll get permission next time anyway. But okay. okay. Good, that's a good point. Thanks for bringing that up. The, okay. So then, so we, I kind of did a run through. I helped some customers, which I'll, which I'll talk about here momentarily. But then you, yeah. You had a different structure for the day that we were doing this. So what was what was your idea about how this was gonna go? Like what were you looking for? Like our when we were there? Um, I yeah. was looking for so I think we went in there and I was like, we just gotta roll with what what we have in front of us, right? So we found some people in a certain area, and I was like, Okay, I see something ridiculous in this area. It was like a um copac cotopaxi, cotopaxi bag multicolored cotopaxi. backpack. Multicolored bag. Crazy looking bag. And I was like, I want you to take this bag. Here's your scenario. Uh, I want you to take this bag and I want you to sell it like it's the best hot ticket item. Like you got to convince right. them. Like they, this is the best thing they could get. And see if okay. you can convince so, them to buy it. 
So what you're saying is, is you're giving me these various challenges. All right. So let's talk about the three challenges. One was I had to sell the Coda packs, not sell it on them, but like at least present the Coda Paxi bag to some right. customers as like, right. this is the best backpack. So right. that was one challenge. What was the second challenge? Remember that one? Second challenge was the, uh, what was a gear, a piece of gear. What's it? What was it? It was a, um... I was in the tent area and yeah. as I'm helping a customer tents, Derek is talking to me on a walkie talkie. Right. Right. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. So he's, he's, he, <laughs> that was great. So you're looking at a wall of tents and I, as you're talking to them, I'm radioing in and I'm like, look, um, this tent that he basically, that the guy was super interested in. I'm like, this one is, uh, defective. And I would make up some absurd reason. Like, you know, the nanofibers are toxic and blah, 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 or something <laughs> ridiculous. Okay. So Carl's having Which to relay this message to him. But the funny part about this is the walkie talkies are these kids, teenage Ninja Turtle walkie talkies. And I'm yes. pulling out. And as I'm helping the customer, I'm talking to Derek about this. And as he's telling me to say nonsense to the customer, I'm realizing my integrity is going right out the door. <laughs> Just, so, wait, I don't know if I asked you this. Did he, could you, could he hear what was coming off the walkie talkie fairly well? I don't think so. No. I, think it's pretty okay. mouthful. I tried yeah. to like slow okay. it down, but I don't know how effective that was. All right. So, so upgrade, the third challenge. Upgrade, I, yeah. I'm, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to how, how that played out. Third challenge yeah. is I'm helping somebody in the backpacks area. And then yeah. mid like discussion, you came up to us. And what did you say? So Carl's in there helping some guy out, giving him the whole run around. And I came up to the me, run like, around I'm giving him good information. <laughs> it was a adequate information. And I went up there and I was like, sir, I don't know if you're aware, but this guy, if you read his name tag, it says fake store clerk. It's unbelievable. This guy's going to get, you know, we're going to call. I think I was, did I say something like we're going to call security on you or something? Like we're going to know because I got embarrassed and walked out of the store. Yeah. So Carl like <laughs> runs out of the store, like a little child. And the guy just starts laughing. He's like, like wait, what? Child. He's like, am I getting punked right now? Like what is happening right now? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. this guy's been here like fooling people, trying to get them to, you know, it was great. Right. Anytime you can embarrass okay. Carl, it's, it's magical. So yeah, I get embarrassed for sure. All right. So the first, okay. So, so how this went down is this is where it surprised me is I'm like, I know my stuff. And I, as I was helping people both with, when I was with Rocky, and when I was with you, mm -hmm. people are asking me questions that I am not expecting. Like when you go to like the camping right. section, the backpacking section of outdoor store, you expect those types of questions, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you can try to answer these questions. So the guy that tr that I, I'm trying this. to sell this ridiculous Coda Paxi pack to, his question yeah. was, um, which of these duffel bags is best for the gym? And he starts describing the different features <laughs> of the different duffel bags. I'm just like, dude, I, I don't know. It's just like throw it in a grocery bag and walk to the it's gym. Like I, I don't care about my duffel bag. What a, that's so, hilarious. Yeah, so he wasn't interested in the Coda Paxi bag, but I did complete that task. So check. We had a great conversation. They had a good time chatting. All right. That was that was funny. S second one, the guy was legitimately interested in tents. That one wasn't really all that awkward, except yeah. when I'm telling him that we're out of stock. I think he told me like to say I, we're out of stock on all Coleman tents, which I didn't Something even know like that. I carried Coleman tents, but yeah. they do. And then, It was for some absurd reason, which you had to yeah. voice to him. And then I was like, I can't. I need to walk away because this is... So I tried to like honor your walkie talkie message, but then you yeah. kept on talking on the walkie talkie, giving me new challenges that were getting increasingly <laughs> ridiculous and absurd. And it was so great. Was like, Stop talking. <laughs> we needed like the earbud, like the impractical jokers show. I tried that. I tried earbud. that with Rocky. It wasn't working. Oh, it's such a bummer. We need that, yeah. We, we need that it. sound team. We gotta get that sound team going in. That's that right. Been funny. Okay. Meanwhile, other people are asking me for help and they're asking me questions. Okay, I'll just tell you two quick ones. One's like, hey, um, what's a good like camp? It's like campfire stove. Like I want to burn wood in a very small controlled area <laughs> to create a campfire, but to also yeah. cook things. And yeah. they actually do make those stoves, but I don't use them or know anything about them. But very all the rare. guy wanted to do was like roast marshmallows for his kids while camping. That's it. I mean, that's it. Just, just yeah. get some rocks. So he ended up going to like some massive stove. He's like, this is what I want. And it wasn't no. small. It was like, you know, the size of wow. like a solo stove or whatever. So he didn't feel that comfortable a... just starting a fire with rocks and wood and kindling. No, but it was just like questions that I thought, like, you know, when I, I thought I was going to get questions I could answer and that one I couldn't answer. And then another guy was like, hey, which, which waterproof stuff sack is better? This one's ultra light, but this one's bigger. Yeah. And wow. so I was like, well, what are you using it for? And he's like, oh, we're going boating. I'm like, does ultralight matter when you're going boating? He's like, no. 
I was like, get that bigger one. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yeah. So I was like, I like um, I'm, these are not questions I was expecting to answer. Maybe he didn't want to sink anyway. the boat, Carl. Maybe he didn't want to sink the boat. You know? Okay. Maybe the bag's too heavy. I don't know. Yeah. So we're so I'm gonna get permission, Whatever. but is, is there anything else? Like I know we're just kind of going like over the highlights, but is there anything else worth mentioning from this scenario here? No, I mean I think it was a learning experience. I think it would be fun to do it again if we knew if we knew we had permission and if we had free reign could we get better sound equipment could we like go oh yeah yeah get all better camera like, stuff. like okay you go over there and do this and then i'll go over there and do that that would be funny you know what i mean so okay yeah I, you know, so yeah, we tried dry run i embarrassed myself multiple times and then felt convicted afterwards which is why we're it's not great. currently releasing the video so that's where, where we're at okay Worth it. all right it's time yeah. for the season finale trivia coming up right after this <clears throat> All right, my friend, we're tied six to six. Yep. And I'm going to go over the, the rundown here. So we've got your losses for the season, trail foodie trivia, trash trivia, trend trivia, through hike lingo, magazine trivia, search and rescue trivia. Those are your losses. I think, two, I think two of those are on appeal. So <clears throat> just, so, you know, yeah, keep okay. it aware. Incorrect. Alice Ford, yes. random trivia, or Alice <sighs> Ford trivia. You didn't really have a title for that one. I lost that one. Random trivia from headlines. Lost that yep. one. Wilderness Survival, Backpacker Root Trivia, whatever that means. Fly Fishing, that was your worst trivia of the season. And then Explorers and you, and you Trivia, those were those are my losses. Yeah, remember yep. that. Okay, okay, so... All right, uh, so this is the last go. one. You now, I tried, to, I tried to double Jeopardy you where if I won, you still had to do... you Like, you would technically lose, but you don't want to do that. You... No, no, no. I, I, if you win, I'm going to do the punishment, but you got to do it too because we're tied. Okay, fine. That's fine. Okay. And this could go either way. Oh, so either, right? either I'm way, I'm doing say. a punishment. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Correct. Yeah. 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 So what? So, I, it doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, you you could either get me to do it too or do it by yourself. Okay. So, so you want me to. I'm not okay. going to tell you That's the fine. title of this trivia until afterwards. Oh, and no, then boy, you right might now. be able to figure it out as we go. Okay. All right. Let's, let's see if we can get you two punishments because you got to do one already, as you know. I'm going to say it every episode. No. You know what? I, I want it on record. Again. I'm not doing it. You keep I on bringing it. it up. You bring no, it up one more no, time. I'm not no doing loophole. it. You can't. Hey, you don't have that yeah. power. It's not a loophole. It's I'm annoyed because you, you don't have that up. power. I'm going to do it. I've already said it multiple times, but if you bring it up again, I'm not. So, For those on the podcast, yeah. my finger is up and I'm saying he does not have that power as I shake it at his face. I have, don't have that power. power of choice. You're doing it. And Rocky's going to make Number sure that you do it. Here we go. Number one. All right. How much does the Hyperlite 55 liter pack weigh? That's absurd. So these are all multiple choice. Okay. A, 12 mm -hmm. ounces. B, 1 pound, 12 ounces. C, 2 pounds. D, 2 pounds, 12 ounces. That was so fast. 12 ounces, 1, point, okay. one pound, 12 ounces. What was the other one? 2 pounds? 2 pounds or 2 pounds, 12 ounces. Oh, okay. A little pattern there. Um, Hyper, I'm going to go with 1 pound, 12 ounces. B, 1 pound, 12 ounces is incorrect. What was it, 12? 12 pounds 12 ounces no it was two pounds even lame not that <laughs> it's not that light that's not that light <laughs> it's lame okay uh number two how much does the two season c to summit bag weigh i don't know the model or how it's a two season bag but and i have Jeez, no other information no about this idea. i love that this is the most impossible trivia for me to know right now the weights of random gear that you, you have feel like up. You, you feel like these are not good questions is what you're saying i think these are subpar go ahead okay just put them why don't you just put it all in grams and make it fun you know there's go a ahead. reason a 14 ounces here we go b one pound one ounce c one, one pound seven ounces okay so this one has three one pound seven ounces one pound one ounce Yep. Or or fourteen some, ounces. Some C to summit bag. I don't know the model, but apparently it's two season bag. Whatever that means. It's a it's some bag that's a two season okay. bag, and I'm supposed to know right. how much it weighs. This is a great question. Right. Not. Thank you. Um, this is totally random. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm gonna say it is fourteen ounces. I'm gonna say it's crazy. Fourteen light. ounce letter A is incorrect. You've already failed this trivia, Derek. Yeah, you're free. Okay. But but I've got another good question. For you, you made this. I want you to admit you made this ridiculous on purpose so you didn't have to do. No, you're not, no, no, no. I, do you think it's ridiculous? Kind of. Yeah. Are yeah. these bad questions? These are not great questions. No. Okay. 
All right, keep that. Here's keep a random. We're, 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 we're gonna keep mind these. These, these are these, these are my questions. How many times can a bee flap his wings per second? Oh, uh, these are my questions. Okay, I got what you said. All of these are your questions. That's correct. All of these yeah, are your questions. I win. From previous trivia is you yourself admitted they're ridiculous and bad questions, yeah. and you lost your own trivia. But I would, <laughs> I would. It, but it's the way you present it, though. Yeah, that's what it makes it. I feel like I presented this is such literally a way. how you presented it. I went back and no, re-listened no, no. to these episodes to make sure that I did it exactly how you did it. And you're like, well, these, well, these are good questions. I don't like, see that. Back. How do, how I don't, you don't see know the that? I don't say the questions and the answers like a micro machines guy, like super fast and talk like I'm doing a disclaimer. <laughs> is it one pound, one pound, four answers, one time? So tell me that one pound. Like what? What do you? What? All right. A eighty, B two hundred thirty, C three hundred ten. D sixty five. How many times can a bee flap his wings per second? It was it was it was what eighty two twenty three hundred and what was the other one? Three thirty was one. Three ten or, or sixty five. Or sixty five. Oh, I remember doing this question too. I, I know the horsefly does it the fastest. I want to <laughs> say it was. Uh, I want to say it was eighty. 80. Yeah, 80. You Incorrect. just went over three on trivia nice. questions that you made up. Yeah. Wow. They're that good. Wow. They're that tough. Exactly. B230 is correct answer. This trivia, my friend, is called Derek Trivia. Nice. Derek's trivia. Oh, for. I tried to yeah. bomb it on purpose, actually. I knew all those answers. Yeah. Believable. Believable. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, so punishments. Uh, let's see. I I kind of I kind of don't mind doing my punishment, so maybe I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Minded Which for was, years. What are you talking about? So the one of mine is to well, mine. If I if you'd gotten this right, I would have had to like interview people on trail and then weigh their packs with the pack awkward. scale. Super awkward. Trail. You on the other hand are going to behave like the old man that you are and pass yes. out Werther's candies to people that are younger than you, which is pretty much everybody in the trail. That's funny. That was funny. Yeah. All I know were those originals wrapped. Yeah, of course. You're, gonna, you're gonna, not gonna even bring. You're not even bringing the, the candy. Let's be honest. Are you gonna get it for me? Have me pass it out. It's part of your punishment. I think. I think all the all the guys that listen to this podcast that go on our our summer trip, mm. they'll probably all bring it for you. So I don't need to buy it. Great. That's not. I, I can't guarantee that, but I just know that based on previous trivia losses, you're not as reliable. I wonder if there's a limit because I bet you I have like a travel size bag with like five or six in it and then I just pass them all out and be good. Right? Oh, well, yeah. Lo okay. Loophole. Loophole. Find it. Figure it out. It's fine. I'm going to find it. Final tidbit of the season we've got. Um, I mentioned Moose Mutlow. I mentioned in a previous mm -hmm. episode that he actually tried to like go back into like legitimate filing cabinets oh. that aren't even in the main search and rescue building, whatever that means, to find the original report of the search and rescue call from 1996 that had my name on it where they had to go rescue me. Okay. He found it. He actually he really? found the report. That's amazing. And he like, yeah, he emailed it to me, but he said specifically, I can't post it. No, but, but what I'm going to try to do is on the report is, is the lead search and rescue guys name. I'm going to try to get a him. hold of that guy and That'd then maybe we'll have him on the show. So yeah. that way he can kind of talk more to it. Wasn't there an asterisk so, on that report uh, you told me that said like cocky kid falls in river debated saving him? Ooh. Something like that? Yeah. So it's some, I, I, okay, I you could title um, it that probably. I think it said handsome and muscular. but I Big shot, semi-quachy looking guy falls in river. <laughs> semi <-quatchy>. Almost dies. <laughs> Helicopter <laughs> barely got him out. Okay. That's, that's yeah. yeah. We should definitely interview that guy. <laughs> that's so funny. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But um, hey, so we know you're going to take... A short break. I got some guest hosts coming. I've, we, I was just at the outdoor retailer show. That episode's coming up next week. All the fun new gear and yes. food items and stuff like that's that's coming. But we've so we got that next week. But in terms of like yes. the future, you you're kind of a little elusive as far as when you're returning back to the show. I am because here at the homestead of Somerville Casa, uh, things have gotten a little complicated. With um, you know, we have help for the kiddos here, so. Um, right. a lot of our nurses have left they, one's in the military and is doing some uh, relief work in other countries and stuff. So we're, it's going to be challenging because there's a, there's a shortage of specific types of nurses for my specific situation. So it's you pending. Split time with your kids and you're not, you're saying you're not up for doing 
Correct. show on a non There's day. too many. I won't even get into that. That's more personal. I think there's so much going on here. Like there's we talk so much about personal things in the show, Derek. It, this, we do. There's nothing that's it's off limits here. There is too much to catch up on, dude. And I need I need to have like a, a life as well. So this is 24 seven over here. So I think that the podcast is your life. What are you talking about? Oh, that's true. I should have wrote that down. My bad. Okay. So it'll be pending. Um, I we have some things in the works. Things are out, but this summer I'll need to take a break. It's too crazy over here. But I'm hoping to have, I'm hoping to have things dialed in by uh, season eight's start. So keep that in prayer, and uh, hopefully you'll hear my warm, sultry voice on episode one. Is the goal? Okay. So that, that, and then in the fair? meantime, we're still get, we still got Derek episodes coming out because we've got. You do. I don't know if you guys noticed, but every other week or so, we put out kind of a throwback, one of our more popular episodes from a few years ago. And for those that are new to the show, like they'll just feel like new episodes. If you've been listening for a long time, we just thank you and thanks for, right. for hanging out with us for sure. That's right. It's going to be great. Okay. It's going to be great. But we're still coming at you every week. We got backpacking and blizzard You got some stuff. good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. We got coming. some good stuff coming. We've got some big names coming this summer and we've got some big announcements even during the summer that are going to be coming out. So... That, my friend, for this season is all I got. It was a beautiful season. It was a great season. Guys, thanks again for all the support, the comments, the harassment, the listening ear through Carl's Horrible Jokes. We will see you in the summer, hopefully. I will not, but I will hopefully see you season eight when we keep this train rolling.